Hello and welcome to My Security TV. My name's Chris Cubbage and we're at the Sofitel Hotel in Sydney uh, enjoying CCTV World. I'm joined by Mr Boris Pointing. Uh, Boris, thanks for joining us. Uh, Boris, you've given a presentation enhancing human processes in CCTV control rooms. Uh, just an overview of your presentation. It grew out of a study James Cook University is doing around our correlated assault in the Cairns Late Night Entertainment Precinct. As a result of that, Cairns Regional Council asked us to look at their practices within CCTV rooms around governance, human processes within the, within the camera room and try and match them against good practices around the world. So we basically looked at 60 government reports and 60 peer-reviewed peer academic articles, pulled out the recommendations then compared Cairns practices against them, which was quite astonishing really as to some of the underlying uncertainty about what makes CCTV work. So there's a whole range of different areas that CCTV works in or is assumed to work in. And traditionally there's been a lack of research uh, in relation to CCTV as it is, but let alone uh, the control room aspect and from an operator's perspective. Uh, and what were some of your key findings? Uh, well Cairns does meet good practice, basically it meets the recommendations. Uh, we use a realistic evaluation method within a continuous quality improvement session. So looking at benchmarking operator performance, training and some feedback to them on their performance, then doing it again in an iterative process. There's the underlying psychological processes of the camera operators and what triggers their attention, what then gets them to notify the on-street security, uh, some of the stuff we're looking at. The realistic evaluation process is basically outcomes of any system are based on the mechanisms of the people involved operating within the context. And how can people find more information? We did also find that the CAN system limited assaults in about 40% of assaults, which if you that was over a two month period basically, if you expand that out, that's about 200 assaults a year. That's published in Injury Prevention Journal. Uh, and just search for Shane Pointing on Google. Uh, and the other interesting finding, which might be of interest to your viewers, mate, is uh, in coming up in Crime Prevention and Community Safety Journal, which is a UK journal, yes. and that talks about some of the contexts of the CCTV operation. And no doubt we'll have you in the Australian Security Magazine uh, as well at some point. Really appreciate that offer, Chris. Thank no you. Boris, thanks for joining us. Thanks, mate.